Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we'll be looking at one of these fantastic Casio CMD-40s. This is my favourite watch, uh, also known as the TV watch or on here it has wrist remote controller watch, released in 1992. I think I may have already done a video on one of these on mine, but this is another one I've got in stock so I'm doing it for the purpose of the listing and also I enjoy messing around with them whenever I get hold of one and I've, and I've restored it. So we'll have a look at the condition first, so the body is in good condition with only mild signs of, of wear, there's a small scratch there. Uh, again, plastic there is not too bad, a few little bits, but nothing uh, too bad. And then on the main screen, there's, you know, a, maybe two, three scratches there. I'm trying to make them look as bad as possible for you with the light and the angle, but as you can see on your wrist, it is really mild and, and doesn't affect the, the use. Uh, functionality, everything works, um, as we'll go through in a moment. The only thing I've noticed is the middle button is recessed ever so slightly more than I would expect, but it does not affect functionality in any way. So on the front, we can see here we have the, uh, we'll talk about the other features in just a moment, but we have our date and time at the, uh, at the top. Just going to cycle quickly through um, and to adjust them top left is our set button so that will start it flashing and then we cycle through using this button and then use the up uh, arrow to then change anything uh, any of the selections should you wish to be in 12 hour instead of 24 hour mode just press the middle button there and you can see that it cycles through and then once you've done just press the top left button so then moving on to the next uh, function, so we use the button there, we can see the, the calculator, we've got the numbers one through to zero, a decimal place and an equals there. And these are then the other, the other function buttons and if you need a reminder, they're on the side of the screen there. So you can see plus minus times and divide, but whenever you push them, the respective one comes up anyway. So if we were to um, say um, 1.5 plus, uh, let's go eight. There we go. It's done. One point it equals nine. So it's already done it because oh, that, sorry, that equals uh, ten point five. So let's try it again. So we do something like uh, should just go in six minus uh, four equals two. So that's the calculator, and you can hear the beep as well. So the beep is the the, the beep is working because it has the uh, the piezo and the spring inside. Moving on to the next setting is our alarm. So again, just hold down the set button to set it and activate it. And then the stopwatch. So the stopwatch is uh, activated using these two. So the middle button will just start the stopwatch going. Press the middle button again, and then reset here. So that's all of that. And then we press it again, and it'll bring us back to the start. So now you're wanting to get onto the interesting stuff, I'm sure, which is how we operate things like the TV and VCRs and this watch is great because it actually has three separate settings so when when you're in this mode here this middle button when you press it that is now communicating with a television of whatever code you've set that is set that is now with a, a VCR as you can see a little video symbol and then that's the learn function where you can take pretty much any infrared control and set whatever functions are on it onto the watch uh, whenever you're on the home screen and it's sat there, eventually this will dissipate, it'll, it will vanish. But if you want to get back to um, being able to set the time or something, you can quickly just cycle around and it, it will vanish there. So I've got a, a just a printout of the manual here, but um, we're going to have a look at um, my TV over here and my VCR. So my TV is, is a Sony. What they uh, suggest in the manual, it actually gives you um, here a manu manufacturer's code. So, do, do, do. so if you look here, I've got a Sony and it suggests that for the TV, I need a three or a seven. So what you do is with the watch here, you'll go and make sure you've got the TV mode selected and then you hold down the set button. And funny, or, uh, funny, funny enough, funnily enough, uh, my TV works with setting seven. Uh, if you find that these those ones don't work, just simply cycle up and test the power button and just keep going and you're basically just going to go all the way through how, however many there are and just to, just to find maybe it's a different code setting, but mine works on number seven for the TV. And then on the second one down, I, don't, I have a, what have I got, a Panasonic 
I'm just going to see, I haven't actually pre-checked this, but here, it's, so this is a video tape deck, Panasonic 02 or 14, it says there. And guess what? This one that I have works on the code 02, which is brilliant. And when we talk about codes, we're basically saying that this is your TV volume, this is your power, and then uh, when you're in VCR mode, you can see just above um, each of these, I'm just going to focus in, you've got rewind, stop, play and fast forward and channel up and channel down. So right now we've got uh, the TV on and I've got a video in. So if I wanted to start the video playing, I would make sure that the video is selected on here and then the play button is this one here, number three. So if I press number three now, you can see that play came on and then if I want to let's say fast forward it's the four button here if I can just... so if I press four you can see it fast forward and then if I press two it will stop so those buttons are all set then if I want to um, control the TV I'll press this button here to cycle it around to the TV setting and then for instance this is the volume so if I press that you can see focus on the TV. If I do that, um, move that the way. Don't know if you can make it out because it's on the white bar, but that is now moving the volume up and down. And as we're not going back to the video, I can also show you. So it said that um, this was our channels at the bottom. So if I press that, there you can see how it's moving the channel the channels through as well. So uh, they're moving up and down in the different channels. So that's how that works. And then the brilliant thing is, as long as you've got uh, you know, um, an infrared uh, control, so not some of the modern ones that kind of work on the Wi-Fi, but a more modern one. So this one here, for instance, uh, is my Samsung TV remote for that over there. And what you can do is you go into the learn mode, So in here, you cycle through to, to this, uh, this one here where it says learn, hold down the set button, and then whatever you button you push on here, you're then saying, I want to use that button. So on this one, I've just previously pushed in this button here. So you push that in, and then you get with it, whichever corresponding button, so on here, the power button, and then push the power button, this lights up here, and that's that one stored. And then because I've got like speakers and stuff set in, I then, um, I didn't use the volume ones for volume. What I did instead is I pressed the up button on the volume. So push, so you hold down this, so you, until you get into this setting, push the up button. And then on here I did source. So then just push the source button once, this illuminated to say, yes, I've received a signal, and then you come out of the settings. So that now means if I press the power button pointing at this TV, there, you see it operates the TV. And because I set this one to be my source button, if I now do this, you can see it going through those which I think is absolutely incredible that you can just like basically use any infrared, and I can turn the TV off now, uh, any infrared and program it into this watch. So yeah, this is why it's my favorite one. It looks great. The functionality is great with, the, with that kind of stuff. And it's got like the calculator look and everything going for it. So it's really nice. Anyway, so we're approaching nine minutes. I'll try and keep it under 10. So to wrap it up, you've got, um, the Casio uh, CMD-40, uh, released in 1992. The body is in good condition. A, you know, a few scratches just there on the bottom, nothing that would affect things like, you know, like signs of wear. This button's ever so slightly depressed, more than uh, more than it would be, but it has no effect on the functionality. Uh, the strap's great, the back's hardly got any wear, you've got a new battery inside, the sound works. You've seen me use the calculator and the stopwatch and the alarm system alarm uh, so all those buttons and then you've seen me demonstrate how with this button i can control a tv that one i can control a video and that one it, it can learn from any i say any you know it can learn from an infrared controller by setting it into there i really hope you've enjoyed the video uh until the next one 
take care all the best and see ya